So click on Cinema 4D, let it load up. You want to add your text or your shapes. So just go Mo Graph. I'm going to go Mo Text. Just type in Jaden S45. Just click anywhere, drag that to the middle, roughly in the middle. Just rotate around. I'm just doing this pretty quick, but obviously you would spend more time on it. So I'm just going to get a nice try. You know, try and get a nice try. Get it centered in the in the middle. So I'm just going to you, you want to increase the depth so you have more depth to your text and stuff. So I'm just going to do 100, duplicate it, do the depth 75 on this. And now cap, you want to go fill it cap. Fill it cap. You don't have to do this to do the text, it's just a nice little thing that you can do with your text. Just drag it back so this bit that has no caps stands out, so it has that kind of effect on it. Right, if it goes back and it bulges at the back. So what you want to do is you want to go on colour. You want to go on texture under the colour after making a new material, obviously. Then at the end of texture, there's three dots. Just find whatever image you want. So I'm just going to find folder, and I believe that it is okay. I think I've gone past it. Just go back. Uh, no, it's not going textures. I've got another folder. Here we go. This one. Just go down textures. Just find any texture, but obviously you might have a, a taste for a certain type of texture. And this will come up. This image is not a document search path. So you just want to go yes, after it comes up. And you see, um, obviously, when I drag it on to the actual text, you see that it only does the sides of the text, which you will see now. It only does the sides, and it kind of goes really bad on the front. You can't really see it because I've got the other text there, so I'm just going to delete, get rid of that text, and then you see it's like that. It just really doesn't look nice, but you know, you might like that. I really don't. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to click on it, it under there, go projection, and go flat, and then it'll come up like that, and it'll be straight on the thing. And it won't be, you know. Obviously, it might look better because. It might look better when it's just all flat and not with a cap. You know, it, it depends what you like, but obviously I'm just doing this really quick to show you just how to get the actual texture onto the image, so you might spend more time doing it. So you'll do it until it like fits your taste. Whereas you know, you can mess around with the projection things, you know, cuboid ones and stuff like that. Uh, here I just end up messing about, just trying on a different texture, just seeing what it looks like and everything. Just make the path. Just drag it on. And it's dragged on. All you gotta do, like you see there, it's just, it just looks really crap. You know, flat, and there you go. It's just like that. I, I don't really like that, but you know, depends what you want. Like you could do it for like YouTube background and stuff like that. I, I did a guy a YouTube logo. Um, oh, no. I forgot his name. Uh, it's like V Renio Cinema or something like that. And I did I did him a logo thing. And it, um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So I'm gonna leave that. You can just go view his channel. You know, give him a bit of support. I, I believe he's just started. So I did him a nice little background I mean I did in a logo so if you like the logo just let me know I'm doing logos until I get about I don't know about 100 100 subscribers anyway guys so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe